this is what I'm saying. It could be, it could be more than six or seven. It could be more than that. I don't even know. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It's about 4 a.m. right now, and there's one of the little cats. I don't know where it was hanging out. Um, somewhere by the back steps. So, I woke up about a half hour ago. Like, I don't know, I just woke up and haven't been able to get back to sleep. So, I said, let me check the security camera footage, and it ends up that these six cats have been hanging out in the yard. Um... They were hanging out on the patio chairs, on the patio table, um, walking around the patio. So I decided to look out the window to see if they were still on the table. I don't see any on the table. Um, they might be on the two farthest chairs. I don't know. I was going to grab a flashlight and look. But, um, yeah. We'll see what happens. It's 9.11 a.m. I'm sitting here getting work done on my computer and Boo's been looking out the window. Look what's going on outside. See that? It's one of the babies. It's drinking some water. So this morning I realized that I have a whole bunch of kitten food, like um, canned kitten food, that I had purchased for Ditto because it's higher calorie than regular cat food and it has more nutrition in it. So when he was sick, I was trying to get as many calories in him as I could. So that's why I would sometimes give him the kitten baby food. And I'm thinking maybe I'll just put it out for the cats, but. Um, it's walking away, which is good. I haven't seen any of the other ones on the patio this morning. Here's Splash. And what I would like to do over the course of the next several days, well, we're coming into a long weekend right now, but um, uh, maybe after that, um, I need to start looking into maybe figuring out some kind of um, trapping plan. Right now I have the one trap that I used for Ditto and I tried to use on Hydrox. Maybe if I put it out in the morning um, when there's usually not all six of them here at the same time, maybe I would be able to um, like do one at a time. I don't know. I'm just taking it one day at a time right now. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I also don't want like 12 kittens. Yeah, so um, it is in my mind. I am thinking about things. So again, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I have a million other things. So dealing with cats is not my day job. I have other responsibilities. I have a lot of other responsibilities. It's really just a uh, part-time volunteer gig at this point. It's about 6.30 p.m. right now, and I'm going to put this toy outside to see if uh, the cats want to play with it. Uh, the inside cats don't really play with it that much. They play with their other toys more more often. And so this one has, there's three levels and each level has a ball. The kittens look like they're capable of playing. Um, Hydrox did not know how to play. Ditto did not know how to play. But I'm thinking since there is like a family of six that, you know, maybe they will understand the concept of play. They might not know what toys are because you know, feral cats don't really know what toys are, so um, we'll see what happens. But what I did notice earlier was that this uh, little rubber ducky was in the middle of the patio, so that made me think, well, maybe the cats um, were playing with it. I don't know. It could have been some raccoons moved it or whatever. So um, that's why I said, let me put the toy out. Let me see what happens. So I do have a camera pointed at this, so hopefully if anyone comes to play with this, the camera will pick it up. Um, it probably smells like the inside cat since this was sitting in the living room for a while. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe the cats will be afraid of it. Maybe they won't be. We'll see what happens. 
The other reason why I selected this toy is because it is not electronic and it's made out of plastic and the balls are like plastic balls also so it is weather resistant and it's okay to be outside. I'm putting two paper platters of food outside so what I have here is some dry cat food in the middle and then I opened a 5.5 ounce can of turkey pate for kittens so that's um, like half a can on this side, half a can on that side, all totaled one can. And I have the same thing here. And Boo has been looking out of his window and he alerted me to the fact that he saw the cats out there because he acts a certain way when he sees them, right? I just put the two plates down and I moved the toy over. There's the camera pointing at them, so we'll see. If anyone comes to eat, I am hoping that raccoons and possums don't come. Uh, the cats have been around, or at least a few of them, um, within the past 10 minutes, so we'll see if they come back. So right away, the big cat just showed up, the big tabby. So I think this one was hanging out um, behind the fence in the back. Because that seems to be where it came from. I don't know if it sees something on the other side of the patio or what. It seems to be kind of on alert. Is it going to eat? It's not going to eat. It's a big cat. It's drinking some water right now. I just put fresh water out there around 5 p.m. I think it sees me. Maybe it's looking for the separate little plate on the side there. Or maybe it just wants water. It's 8.09 p.m. and I just put the security camera on so I could see what's going on and there's two cats eating, um, one from each platter. So this is one of the kittens uh, on this platter and I don't know who's on the other platter. I don't know if it's the big cat or one of the kittens, but I'm happy that the cats got to the platters before the rest of the wildlife. And with regards to the cats, I'm hoping that there's safety in numbers since there's like a clan of six and they hang out together. I'm hoping that um, is beneficial for them the same way that Stella, Boo, and the kittens hung out together outside and um, there was safety in numbers there. I'm hoping there's safety in numbers with the other cats and that'll help um, keep like the raccoons and stuff away from them. Not that there's issues with raccoons, but we have seen some crazy raccoons. And it does look, and it does look like the cat that's eating on the other platter is the, the big cat. So it's about eight seventeen right now, and it looks like another cat or two showed up. It could be another one or two of the kittens. There's definitely four cats eating right now. It looks like the two torties showed up and one's eating on the plate in front and one's eating on the plate in back. So the fact, so if, if this is the fat tabby and uh, if the torties eating on the same plate as that cat, that would make me think that they are somehow related. or that they at least know each other. It's about 8.25 p.m. and I just put the security camera back on and it looks like um, the, uh, the cat with the uh, white boots, the white paws, um, is now eating off the back platter. And then I saw there's like a cat over here near the table this platter looks completely empty. That platter might be close to empty. So, um, might give him another few minutes and then go out there with some more food. So that was two cans of food, 
and probably more than a cup of dry food. But we've seen at least five cats eat off of it. It's about 8.30 p.m. and look at this. I think this is the big tabby. Or this might be the little one. This might be um, one of the babies. This might be the baby with the white paws, but look. Do you see the statue right next to it? That's Hydrox and Ditto. That's their statue. I had the statue in the cat shelter, but I took the statue out of the cat shelter, I don't know, like a week or two ago, um, when I first start, when I first started seeing the cats coming around, because I thought maybe they would want to go in there if it's raining. Okay, the cat I'm filming right now is a TNR'd cat. So if this cat is the fat cat, this cat has been TNR'd. I don't know if this is the fat cat or if this is the skinny kitty with the white paws. There's so many cats and they only come around at night and it's hard to tell. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put some more food out. So while I'm showing you this cat, the black and white cat, the skinny tuxedo cat showed up. And that cat's probably looking for food too. So um, I'm going to go put some food out. Okay, so this is what's going on with the platters. So here's here's the cat with the white paws at the platter right now with the black cat. So I'm thinking the one that we just saw on the patio is the fat one. Because I think that's the young one eating. Again, it's hard to tell, but yeah, that does look like maybe it is the younger one. And there's the black and white one. Poor thing has no food because they ate it all. I don't know if you could see this, but there's some cats under the patio table. There's like two cats under the patio table. So here's what's going on. I opened another can of the turkey pate for kittens and I put it in this paper cup and I mixed in a whole bunch of water because, you know, it's been really hot today and it'll be easier to pour out of the cup and the cats like it. It's good for them to get the water. And then here's the can and I have a bunch of dry food in this. So I'm going to take both of these outside and dump them on the platters and that'll be it. So I just came outside and I put food on the platters and do you see this? It looks like there's two cats in the corner. Maybe it's the big one along with the black and white one. It's hard to tell because it's really dark and I have the exposure cranked. So these are the platters with the food and hopefully uh, the cats will come back and eat it. So I've been inside for less than a minute and one of the cats is eating off of the platter. So there's the skinny one with the white paws. I don't know if the black and white one is eating. It's hard to tell. I hope there's not a third cat with white paws. Okay, so it's actually um, like one of the tabbies in the back and then this looks like the, um, the small tabby in the front. I think this is one of the ones with the, uh, the white paws. It's really confusing. So here I am thinking I'm dealing with six cats. So there's the skinny one, the skinny tabby with the white paws. There's the tiny tabby. There is the two torties. There is the blotchy tabby. And then there's the um, tuxedo. So that's six. Then there's the big tabby. So that's seven. There's one of the torties. Chances are Maybe there's even more than that, but I'm confusing them. I don't even know. I mean, when when Ditto first started coming around, I thought Ditto was Hydrox because it was confusing. So there's the black and white one. There's the black and white one. Boo's been pretty calm tonight. He just jumped off the shelf by the window. The cats really want their crunchies, but um, I've been 
doing some computer work. I wanted to get a lot of uh, work done today, so that way I don't have to deal with my computer over the weekend, but I had some um, unexpected things. I had to do this uh, this afternoon for my day job. So. Yeah, so like right now there's four cats eating. And I don't, I don't see, I don't see clipped ears on these guys. I mean, maybe this one, I don't know. It's hard to tell because it's dark. Look at this four on a platter. And there's the fifth one in the back on the other platter. That's what it looks like. It could be that this is the only meal they're eating today. Like, I don't know where they were all day. I didn't see them in the morning. I don't know where they go. I don't know where they hang out. Usually feral cats will uh, sleep during the day that's when they'll get their rest and I know from looking at the security camera footage that these cats are pretty much prowling around all night so this could be their big meal they could be on a one big meal a day schedule and that's fine for cats like I've talked to uh, our vet about that and he says, like, that's the minimum you'd want to feed cats. But for a while, when Ditto was inside, when he was sick, we're dealing with his mouth cancer. For a while, he was on one meal a day. Um, and he got all of his calories during that one meal, and uh, that was fine for him. Look at this. There's another one back there. So this is all, this is six right now. I don't know if that was the big one just passing through. This is what I'm saying. It could be it could be more than six or seven. It could be more than that. I don't even know. It's nine ten PM. I just walked over to the back door and when I looked out, two cats ran out from the door. See, look. Do you see this? This is one of the torties. And there's Boo. Look at this brave, this brave cat. It almost has a nose like Splash. It has a big, it has a big black stripe down the middle of its face. It wants some more food. I'm going to put some more food out for it. I'll give it some dry food. It's looking at Boo. Wow, Boo is so big compared to that cat. Boo's easily twice the size of that cat, if not three times the size of that cat. That's a really small cat. I'll give you some food, okay? See the cat? Can you see it? It's really brave right now. It must be really hungry. I just poured out a big bowl of dried cat food which I'm going to take outside, and there's the cat. It was right by the door, and now it's looking at me. Oh, look at this. So here's the big tabby, and I can't tell if this one has the, the clipped ear or not. So I just filled up both platters with some dry food, and I left a little bit of dry food in this bowl, which I will leave over here. So the big one's back, that's the one on the right, and it was walking over to the bowl of food, but then the tortie came over and decided that it's going to eat it, and then that looks like another tortie, and Boo's rubbing up against me. I think Boo's really happy that I'm feeding the cats, because I've noticed that he's acting different now. He's not as like frantic as he used to be. So it used to be whenever Boo saw like one of these cats in the yard or a cat in the yard, he would just frantically start running from window to window. 
He'd run from this window to the back door, downstairs to the window down there, and he would just be like running from window to window. But he's not doing that. Like, he's not doing that at all. He's just hanging out in the other room, kind of waiting for crunchies. So I think Boo's happy, or happier. But I wanted to see if I could get a, a closer view of the big cat, um, which is why I was hoping it was going to go eat some food, because when I saw it uh, walking on the patio, um, I went to get the camera. I didn't expect it to be back so quickly. There was just a very big possum on the patio, so the window's open a few inches, and I'm sitting here trying to finish this work on my computer, and all of a sudden I heard, like, the sound of an unhappy cat, like, um, not a full howl, but, you know, when, like, a cat might be giving a warning to another cat. So, uh, I said, oh no, I looked outside, and there was a big, fat possum walking on the patio, and then, like, two of the cats, um, were, like, approaching the possum, so then I, uh, I yelled out the window, I was like, hey, hey, um, just because I didn't want a fight. But I think it just goes to show us that um, with the cats, because there's more than one cat, if there is an issue, that they will kind of gang up on whatever the issue is. So what happened was I went to look for my flashlight, and then I, I shone the flashlight outside the kitchen window to where the other platters are and the possum was eating on one of the platters. So then I went to get the camera, and by the time I got back with the camera, one of the cats was eating on one of the platters. So I don't know if the cats chased the possum away or what. I'm actually gonna have to look at the security camera and see if it's on the security camera. But I was definitely surprised that when I was yelling out the window at like the cats and the possum, the cats did not get scared and run away because a few days ago, if I did that, they would have gotten scared and ran away. So, cats are smart. So here's what happened with the possum. So here's the possum, it was eating off the plate and that light is um, my flashlight. So I was shining my flashlight outside to see what was going on. And look at this, here's the cat. One of the cats just goes right up to the plate and the possum moves away. The cat was like, okay, I'm gonna eat off this plate. And then the possum just walked off. These cats are fearless when it comes to, like, the other animals. And then, I don't know if you could see it, but there's, like, two or three cats under the table over there watching. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.